Hi there, pardon my mess, but I wanted to show this off before I tear it down. So what you see here is my attempt to run some of my older CNC um, controller boards using Gerbil, and uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, Gerbil, and uh, uh, the Universal G-Code Sender. So what you see over here is a Xylotech board um, wired with three motors, and usually this would be hooked through this parallel cable into a computer running Linux CNC, and that's my preferred setup, and it works really well for me. But uh, just recently, I'm helping a friend build a machine, and uh, he expressed interest in using um, the Gerbil and the Universal G-Code Sender and possibly a Raspberry Pi to run the system. So um, I decided to go ahead and investigate it. So what I did is I took a Arduino, and I um, loaded Gerbil 1.1 on it, and then I bought this uh, Gerbil to DB25 shield uh, that comes in the kit and you solder it up. So I did that about 30 minutes ago. And uh, instead of plugging the um, parallel port or parallel cable into the computer, it plugs into the uh, DB25 shield, which sits on top of the Arduino running Gerbil uh, that runs through a um, USB port or a USB cable into this laptop that is running G Code Sender. Uh, universal G-Code Sender. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the go button so you can see it run. So come over here. Ugh. Trackpads are the bane of my existence. Here we go. Send. And you can hear it starting up there. So uh, It sounds pretty smooth. It'll uh, get a little rougher once it uh, starts cutting uh, a little more. So so I think it's wrapping over to the corner it's going to cut, I think. Let's see, let's hit the visualizer and see uh, if we can. So that's what I have it cutting. All right, so there you go. So it's starting to make a little more noise. Uh, but you can see it's running uh, fairly well. And uh, <laughs> residents moving the things around. So um, the only concern I had uh, was uh, emergency stop, but it appears that if you come over here and you hit pause, it stops pretty quick. So um, that seems to be enough to kind of get started. I would probably hire uh, hire wire in a hard code uh, hard. Ah. I would probably wire in a hard stop button so that it would uh, directly to the board so you could stop it in case of an emergency. But other than that, uh, the setup works really well, and uh, I'm going to continue playing with that. Um, so anyway, just wanted to show what I was doing.